welcome to Linux L tutorial. I am going to explain about how to add Ubuntu 15.10 and Debian 8.3 to a PXE network boot. We already saw how to install the PXE network boot server in CentOS 7. You can check the video in the linuxhelp.com. Now we can see how to add the Ubuntu 15.10 to the PXC menu. First you need to write the OS files in the pen drive or a DVD then connect the pen drive to the system. After connecting you need to mount the pen drive. First we can see the connected devices using the fdisk command. You can see the pen drive that is the stb one Now mount the device, mount slash dev stb1 space mnt. Now the device is mounted. Now we need to download the netboot image for the Ubuntu 15.10. Type cd and enter. Now we can download the netboot image using the wget command wget http colon double slash archive dot ubuntu dot com slash ubuntu slash distributions slash billy slash main slash installer iPhone AMD 64 slash current slash images slash netboot slash netboot dot tar dot g set now press enter to download the package First download the wget m install wget now give yes to download and install the package now the wget package is installed now we can download the netboot package for the ubuntu 15.10 now the package is getting downloaded now the package is downloaded now we need to extract the package using the tar command tar xvf netboot.tar.gz now the files get extracted after extracting the package you need to copy the ubuntu installer directory to the var lib tft boot directory the command is cp iphone rf Ubuntu installer AMD64 space slash var lib tftp boot now the directory is copied now we need to copy the os files to the var lib tft boot Ubuntu installer AMD64 copy icon rf slash mnt all slash var lib tftp boot ubuntu installer tftp boot ubuntu installer amd64 and press enter now the os files are getting copied now the files are copied. Now the files are copied. Now we need to edit the PXE default configuration file. Nano slash var lib tftp boot PXE Linux dot cfg default. Now we need to add the following label for 
menu label concatenate for brackets install ubuntu 15.10 x64 kernel ubuntu installer slash amd64 slash linux append vga equal to 7 double 8 space init rd equal to ubuntu installer slash amd 64 slash init rd dot gz space hyphen hyphen space quiet and label file menu label and coordinate file open bracket bracket open to 15.10 rescue mode kernel open to installer slash amd 64 slash linux append vga equal to 788 init rt is equal to ubuntu installer slash amd slash init rt dot gz space rescue slash enable equal to true space hyphen hyphen space quiet now after editing the pxe default configuration file save the file and exit now we can unmount the pen drive view mount slash mnt now the pen drive is unmounted now we can install the ubuntu 15.10 using the network boot now press f8 now select install centos 7 from network boot server and you can see the install ubuntu 15.10 x64 select that and you can see the installation screen you can follow the instructions to install the ubuntu 15.10 you can select the Ubuntu 15.10 rescue mode. You can select the executor shell to go to the rescue mode of the Ubuntu. Next, we can see how to add a Debian 8 to the PXE menu. First, you need to download the netboot package for the Debian 8. The command is wget http double slash ftp dot nl dot debian dot org slash debian slash distributions slash jesse slash main slash installer iphone amd 64 slash current slash images slash netboot slash netboot dot tar dot gz now press enter now the package is getting downloaded now the package is downloaded now we need to extract the package the command is tar iphone xvf now the package name netboot dot tar dot gz dot one now the package is extracted now we need to copy the debian installer directory to var lib tft boot the command is cp iphone rf debian installer space var lib tftp boot now press enter now the directory is copied now we need to copy the os files to the directory var lib 
TFTP boot, Debian installer, copy, rf, slash, mnt, all, copy, hyphen rf, slash, mnt, all, slash, var, lib, tftp boot, debian installer. Now the files are getting copied. The files are copied. Now we need to add the debian label to the pxc menu. Now open the pxc server default configuration file. The command is nano r lib tftp boot pxc linux dot cfg default press enter now go to the last and add the label for the debian label space 6 menu label space concordnate 6 6 bracket space install debian 8 x 64 kernel debian iphone installer slash amd 64 slash linux append space vga equal to 788 init rt equal to debian iphone installer slash amd 64 slash init rt dot gz space double hyphen quite label 7 menu label concordinate 7 install debian 8 x 64 automated kernel debian iphone installer slash amd 64 iphone slash linux append auto equal to true space priority equal to critical space vga equal to 788 space init rd equal to debian installer slash amd64 slash init rd dot gz space hyphen hyphen quiet now save the file and exit now press F8. Now select install Debian 8.64. Now select install Debian 8x64. Now we are now we are getting the Debian 8 installation screen. And you can follow the procedures, follow the instructions to install the Debian 8 OS. Now we have successfully added the Ubuntu 15.10 and Debian 8 in the PXC network boot. Thank you for watching.